in Antalya. First up, it's the bronze medal match in the men's individual recurve. We do have two more matches and, uh, for you, ladies and gentlemen. We see the judge coming out with the coaches. We have a view of how the athletes got here. Losing semi finalists have to fight off for the bronze medal. And O lost a teammate, Lee, in the second semi final. And it was Mohammed Cairo Anwar who made, uh, well, he lost in the uh, first semi final against Kim Wu Jin. And we wait for the two athletes to come out for this bronze medal match here in Antalya. Joining us now on the field of play, the archer who defeated Mete Gazaz in the quarterfinals, six set points to none. After beating Matyanki in the round of 1-8, six set points to two. Shooting on target number two, representing the Republic of Korea, Oh Jin Hyuk. And his opponent, uh, joining us now on the field of play, the man who defeated Chef Van den Bech in the quarterfinals, six set points to four. After defeating Sanzar Musayev in the round of 1-8, six set points to two. Shooting on target number one, representing Malaysia, Kairul Anwar Mohammad. <laughs> the line judge for this matchup is Haya Warnongbri. Range clear. Well, the range is clear, and it's Mohamed Kairal Anwar of Malaysia on target one who will shoot first up against O Jin Hyuk. World number 44 Anwar against the world number 16 O. A great start from the athlete from Malaysia. Well, we've seen a lot of the Korean athletes today drifting up and to the left of the center. And that one off to the left there. So after a brilliant start from Anwar, he pulls a seven. And that was a great shot from O. Mr. Muhammad's second shot was a little weak, which is why he shot that seven. Staying calm, recovers somewhat to get a nine. But uh, nine here will be enough for O to get the first two set points. And he gets a 10, 28 plays, 26. And, well, it's uh, O who's off the mark first with the first two set points. Now, these two are uh, ranked 44. Uh, that's uh, Mohamed Anwar and 16 O Jin Hyuk. But they, in the ranking rounds, they were 13 and 14. Crispin, how would you uh, say they got, got here? A tough, ru or a tough route. It has been a tough route, but looking at their competition average, both archers are actually shooting about the same arrow average. It's 9.4. Looking at both of their groups here, um, the groups are almost the same size. Uh, Mr. Muhammad's group is slightly wider, but both again off so to the left. So you need to set points to zero, okay? So Kyrol, you're shooting first. Oh, you're shooting second, okay? Well, trailing athlete to shoot first, and that will be Muhammad Anwar. Range clear. A scrappy second arrow cost Anwar the first set. No time to dwell on that here in the men's bronze medal match in Antalya. 
That was, a, my opinion, a lucky shot. That bow arm did not stay still, but he still managed to pull a 10 out. <laughs> and again, another shot that wasn't very orthodox, still landed a 10. What's going to happen when they start shooting well? <laughs> Unfortunate to say, almost drifting to the left. <laughs> <laughs> that one drifting off to the right. Grouping still tight for both athletes here. Another nine, so one in the center, one to the left, one to the right, all inside the yellow ring, but two nines means a nine here will be enough for a set point for O. And he does get a nine, they level on scores at 28 apiece, and they share the points here in the second set. And it looks like they have definitely tied. And interesting to note, in the qualification round, Mohammed shot 675, O oh shot 674, ranked 13th and 14th respectively. So this close match is exactly what we expect to happen. Well, you talk about close. You look at the uh, groupings here for O oh Jin Hyuk. At 1-8, well, if it was removed, it would be a very tight grouping. That's correct, and so actually off to the right, but his 8 is actually what averages his okay. group Kairos, to be first, a little oh, bit more centered. Still a little high, but centered. Just waiting for the range to be cleared here. So it looks like we are still calibrating the targets down range. And we have one of our guys down there. That's Ur, uh, or Oz, sorry, Oz. And he's one of our big, great technicians who works hard at making sure this tournament runs smoothly. There he is, fixing the target, making sure it's ready. I think we're almost ready to go. Yeah, and there is Mohamed Anwar of Malaysia. She looking a little bit under pressure there. Range clear. They hide it well, but the range is clear. And as he trails by three set points to one, he will start this third set. three arrows each. Oh, he's holding that one long. The stabilizer was starting to move around a little bit there, but he manages to salvage a nine. Oh, and that left eight is uh, pretty close to what he shot before with that other left eight. You see both of these stabilizers moving around. And that's a good close grouping there, the first two arrows. Wind starting to gust a little bit, Crispin. Yeah, it's really coming across a little harder. And now they're tied, so O um, compensated and was able to find the center a little quicker. So crucial arrow for Anwar of Malaysia. Excellent. Gets a 10. Yeah. Can't ask for more than that. And it leaves O needing a 10 to level this set up. Anything less, and Anwar will level on points. Ah, yeah. And it's a 9. So 27 for O, not enough to level up. And just like that, Anwar takes the third set and levels on three set points all. This again is proving my point that this is going to be a close match with the 13th and 14th ranked archers of this tournament now tied in the bronze medal match, three sets to three. Yeah, very tight. Coming through qualification, well, the hard way. Losing in the semi-finals here. 
to fight off for the bronze medal. I've got to say that Muhammad Anwar was looking a little tense here, but somehow managed to pull it all together to draw level. And we still have some issues down the range. First. Oh, you shoot second. Just making sure that the calibration, as Crispin said, is, is absolutely spot on. With the scores level, it will be Muhammad Kairul Anwar who will shoot first. Range still isn't clear here. Just starting to step away. Well, here we see some of the shots, and you can see how that stabilizer in the front wobbles around. Take it off. And here we go for set number four. Anwar leveled in the third set, but because he shot first in the first set, he'll shoot first now. That was a good shot from Mohammed. Still low. He needs to move his sight down yeah. to get his arrows up into the ten a little bit more. Excellent. That was a great shot from Ojin Hook. Nice and strong, straight down the middle. Excellent. I think Mohammed might have heard me. He just shot a 10 with that arrow. Perfect shot. Well, we're not far away from them, are we? Okay. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. He's on for a perfect 30 here, O. Oh. Drifting off to a 9. And. An eight will level things up for O, a nine will take him to five set points. And that was enough to get him uh, two set points. So the score showing a 10 for the last arrow. That was actually a nine when I looked at it land. So either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure that O got that set. Well, we we're going to look here. We get a replay or the, the uh, Falco Eye. And that's a total uh, look at the groups. And we can see that Muhammad is about one ring wider than uh, O. But that was just counting one arrow. If you look at the rest of his group, it's actually tighter than O Jin Hyuk in terms of left to right. O has just found the 10 a lot more times than Muhammad. So O, you lead five sets points. To three, okay. Kyrou, yeah, and in the first. individual, okay. oh, it's not just again. about uh, consistency. Each arrow sometimes is so important, and that seven played a very big part in that set. Well, the score. There we go. The calibrator down at the uh, target end. And he's uh, been hard at work there, making sure that uh, the calibration for our replays is absolutely spot on. And the pressure looking to be affecting the Malaysian athlete more Range clear. than the Korean. He trails here in Antalya. Five set points to three and will shoot first in this crucial fifth set. Well, good start there at 10. You saw the stabilizer moving around there. The wind is coming in probably the strongest it's been all day. <laughs> and matched by O. So the pressure switches back to Muhammad Anwar. And he needs to win this set to force a shoot off. Oh. 
Drifting out to the left there, and eight opens the door here for Oh Jin Hyuk. Well, he's on the line there between the eight and nine, so we'll get the nine. Well, he needed a ten, really, a smile. A really right smile there, another eight. And here, a seven will be enough. Ooh. And he scores a nine, and it's Ho Jin Hyuk of Korea, who won a bitty bronze medal match here in Antalya. He took the last set, 28 points to 26, to give him an overall lead of seven set points to three, and a bronze medal here at stage two of the Hyundai Archery World yeah, Cup.